this is the last thing the narcissist wants to see. Narcissists are typically very observant. They're always scanning their environment for threats. So they're quick to notice things. They're always paying careful attention to what you do and how you feel. And by this point, it should be pretty obvious. But the last thing the narcissist wants to see is your happiness. They don't want to witness your well-being and contentment. They don't want to see you experiencing joy, satisfaction or fulfillment. Unless it's something that they can bring back into their realm. Or if it's something that they can take credit for. But other than that, it brings them irritation and annoyance. It causes them mental suffering and distress. And they know when you're happy and contented. They know when you're done. Because they're emotional predators. They manipulate and exploit people's emotions for their own benefit. And they've been doing it for a very long time. So now it's almost like they have a sixth sense. They're intuitive of your mood and of your shifts in energy. So they know if you're still as unhappy and distressed as they are. Because narcissists are low in energy. They're like empty buckets. They have a void that can never be filled. So they're insatiable. They have an appetite and a desire that is impossible to satisfy. So they're always unhappy and dissatisfied. And they're always wanting what you have which they don't have. So when you experience a shift in energy, they immediately sense it. And then they only come around you to drain you of your energy resources and positivity. But they also feed off your misery. Because that gives them satisfaction. They're satisfied from seeing you unhappy. Or from where you're longing and yearning for them. It strokes their ego. It makes them feel good about themselves and momentarily increases their sense of self-worth. So they instinctively already know how you're feeling. Without even needing to be in your presence. Or they can hear it in your voice. Because they're able to perceive of things that are not discerning to a normal human's perceptions. So they know when you're going through it. They know when you're still dissatisfied. And that actually makes them happy. To where they may show a smug, condescending or self-satisfied attitude. Just from seeing if you're still miserable just like them. And they find pleasure in knowing that they were the cause of it. Because unlike a normal person, they feed off negative energy. From your lack of belief and assurance. Which is why the moment that you start to regain your confidence and things start to make more sense to you about what they're about and who they are and you begin to realise these surprising facts about them it begins to detach the connections and associations that you've made with them and then you begin to heal those emotional wounds as you begin to understand and learn more about them and when this happens, they can feel it and they can sense it, even when you're not around them. Because they have a very strong perception. They're very attuned to you. Because they view you as an extension of themselves. So however you feel affects their emotional state. Which is why when they know that you're happy without them, they experience sadness and distress. It hurts them because you're no longer attached to them. 
you're no longer tied to their misery or their negative energy because you're no longer connected or in sync with them. You're pulling away from their negativity and pain. So now you're starting to feel better. Your anxiety is going away. And you no longer desire to be with them. And they know it. They can sense when you're no longer thinking about them. If you're a true empath, they can see it on your face. They can read your emotions very easily. Even if you say that you're fine. If you're not, they will know. Because it's essential for their emotional survival. Narcissists are very miserable people. So they're heavily dependent on other people's reactions. They feed off your pain. So to aid their survival, they've learned to read people like a book. Tests have shown that narcissists can even read a person's feelings by looking in their eyes. So they're able to figure out your emotional state without being negatively affected by it. And in fact, it brings them pleasure. It makes them feel good about themselves. And they don't even have to look into your eyes. They can sense it in your energy. Which again is essential to their survival. Because they don't want to be vulnerable. They don't want to expose any parts of themselves to you. So they're able to sense your energy. Without even being around you. They're able to know if you're happy and contented without them. And it immediately brings them pain and sadness. Because they don't like the quality of being suited to serve a purpose well. They don't like practicality or usefulness. Because that makes them look bad. It makes them feel insignificant in comparison. So they prefer to be around things that are dysfunctional. Things that deviate from the norms of social behaviour. Things that are not operating normally or properly. They like being around people who are unfortunate and unhappy. People who are not satisfied or pleased with their situation. Because they contaminate everything they come into contact with. They make it impure. So they know when you have healed. That's why they come back. To rob you of your qualities and virtues. Of everything that makes you who you are. Everything that gives you your light and energy. Because nothing hurts them more than seeing you happy and contented with yourself. They don't like being around anyone who is unshakable or unmoved. They can't survive around someone like that. Which is why they always end up destroying them. Because that's the only reason why they come around you to begin with. Their objective is to break you of your happiness and contentment. Your peace and well-being. Your love and joy. So they never give you love. You never see love from them. They give you an illusion of love. By robbing you of your qualities and virtues. Because they have no love to give. It's just a void. So anything you give to them will disappear without a trace. And it will never come back because it never meant anything. So any energy that you give to them doesn't result in anything. It disappears and you don't get anything back. You just feel drained in the process. You feel overlooked and exhausted by the time you're done with them. Because they rob you of your energy. Which is why even when you try to let them go. They always end up blaming you in the end. Because they want you to blame yourself. So that they can continue to deplete you of your energy. Even as you try to recharge. 
which is why you need to validate yourself you need to remind yourself that you are the price and when you do that they will feel it and it will eat away at them it will drive them insane it will make them envious and hateful because you were meant to have been destroyed when they were done with you they expected you to fall apart without them but you didn't you became stronger you gained more knowledge which is what hurts them because you're still able to obtain happiness without them which is something that they can't do they can't sustain a feeling of happiness and well-being which is why they want to bring everyone down to their level thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up share your thoughts in the comment section hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications if you would like to support the channel you can donate at paypal.me slash narc survivor you can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website it's narc survivor the code uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.